To show you some array operations. So let's start with an array. Let's let M be a random array with three rows and five columns. Similarly, we can let N be an array of the same size. And let's just talk about subscripting really quick. So I can get the IJ element of N by simply typing a, an integer for each of these. And that gets me the third row and fifth column element. So that's right here. You can also do logical subscripting. Uh, and I showed how to do that in a video on vector subscripting. So all those things apply. But I'll just point out I can get the third row and all columns of n in this manner. So I'm getting third row, all columns. Or let's get the second row and maybe just the first four elements of n. Okay, so there's that. Now in MATLAB, all operations are matrix operations by default because all numbers are matrices by default. So even the scalar b equals five, well MATLAB thinks of that as a one by one matrix. So if I say p equals m times n, that's gonna give me an error because the matrix dimensions don't agree. Uh, if I, I'll call up M and N again. For this product, the left factor M must have the same number of columns as the right factor has number of rows. And that's not the case here. Uh, however, we can force a element-wise multiplication by putting a period right before the operation which is by, full, by default a matrix operation. So here, each element of M is multiplied by the corresponding element of N, and that gives us the products uh, here where each element of P is the product. Now we've forced a element-wise operation, and we'll, we'll have a similar issue if we want to raise a matrix M to a certain power. Because you can think of this as when I say M to the third power, well, I multiply M by itself twice. And it doesn't work for exactly the same reason. Uh, the number of rows and columns don't match. But this tells you that, hey, only square matrices can be raised to powers. However, we can force a element-wise power operation. And as you see, that works. So now we've seen some matrix operations, and then we've forced some element-wise operations. Let's look at some other matrix operations that you'll find useful, starting with concatenation. We can append M onto N. So we'll start with N and then we'll append M. To concatenate, we enclose the things we append together in these brackets. We could use a, a comma, so we put them end to end. Similarly, I'm also going to show you that that comma is optional by removing it, and you see I get the same result. Similarly, we can do a vertical concatenation when we use a semicolon, and that just stacks the matrices. Also, I'll just show you that you can make a matrix in a quite manual form. So there's a horizontal concatenation, and now we're going to concatenate and put a, another set of numbers. And there's the matrix Q. Concatenation is useful when working with strings. So strings are arrays of characters. So let's start with a string. X equals cat. And I'll show you here that, that 
X is simply an array of characters. So the first element of X is C, the last element is T. Let's let Y be dog. Okay, so now we can put Z is the concatenation of X and Y. We can make it a little bit nicer if we insert a space, and that's again done through this horizontal concatenation. The vertical concatenation still is possible, although it may not be as useful. Though it may have its place. This becomes useful when we want to make MATLAB print a value. Say, for example, we define x to be some value, and then later on in the program, we want MATLAB to display that value. We can use the disk command. And the disk command takes a MATLAB string and puts it in the command window. So there's the output. We'll make it a little more useful. And let's say we want it to tell us what the value of x is. So to do this, we're going to do a concatenation. So here's the first part of the string. We're going to add to it the value of x. But we can't just give it x because x is a number, not a string. So we have to convert the number to a string using num2 string, like that. And then you can see, OK, it tells me what x is. So those are a few array operations. We forced some element-wise operations, and then we showed you matrix concatenation. Thank you.